convention set January 19th through 28th as top auto manufacturers display their latest models. Get behind the wheel of your dreams. Explore the future of driving and experience the technology of tomorrow. It's fun for the whole family. From extensive displays, ride and drives, and special activities for the kids too. Don't miss the Washington D.C. Auto Show January 19th through 28th. Visit WashingtonAutoShow.com for tickets and more. D.C. Auto Show, where the road to the future begins. Good morning. I'm from Team Forty Zero. This is Brian Miller. Waking up to sunshine and temperatures right now that are really cold. We're in the teens and twenties. We're going to get to about 32 degrees this afternoon with the sunshine in the forecast. A nice start to our work week with temperatures close to 40 degrees after a frigid start, but we will start to get milder in week and rain works into the region Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. 60 degrees. A good possibility here heading into Friday. More rain coming in next weekend on Sunday and colder weather once again next week. Big changes are coming. All right, Ryan, thank you very much. This news is better anytime with the NBC Washington app. Have a great Sunday, everybody. Look at you. I'm just looking around. Oh, no, but uh, he took his 
backstage and just sit and say, you know, call me. You know, there would be no Barack Obama if there was no body busting. That's my Barack Obama. That's my <laughs> Domingo grew up in West Philadelphia, the third of four children. His stepfather sanded floors. His mother cleaned houses and later worked at a bank. I was very shy, very bookish. I was not cool. I come from such a love. Everything about me is because of the love that I was given. And I was kissed on and adored and told that I was special. Domingo dropped out of Philly's Temple University to pursue acting, working for years in community theater as an actor, producer, and playwright. One pivotal audition for an off-Broadway show at New York's main public theater sent him on his way. The audition for Passing Strange was on June 24th, 2006. I came in here, an audition I had the time in my life, it was great, and then I lost my mother on June 25th. And people at the public theater, they waited for me for two weeks to come back in. I sang a gospel song called He's Able. It's like he's able to carry you through. It was all new and raw. And I sang the song, and I felt so vulnerable. Everyone in the room was sort of watching, and then did the scene, and then I felt like I had to leave quickly. I left, thank you, thank you, went to the side of the public theater, and started bawling, because I thought I messed it all up. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just raw, raw energy. But Domingo landed the role, later starring in the Broadway version of the show, and a film directed by Spike Lee. We're all freaks dependent on the backdrop, you know? After Passing Strange was closed on Broadway and Spike Lee filmed it, I literally went back to my bartending job. There was a moment where I actually was going to stop because I thought it didn't make sense anymore. After a run of supporting parts, Domingo was ready to walk away, but his career was resurrected by the undead. <laughs> He starred for eight seasons on Fear the Walking Dead, and more recently earned an Emmy Award, playing alongside Zendaya on the HBO phenomenon, Euphoria. And it isn't a question of willpower, it's not about how strong you are. For Coleman Domingo, the road to Ruston has been long, but well worth the wait. What does it feel like for you to be sitting in this moment, given how hard you've worked to finally have that spotlight on you? I didn't even know that this could happen for me. I actually didn't know. I just wanted to do good work. And then suddenly, I'm in this space where all the lights are brightly shining on me. It sort of takes my breath away when I think about it. I, I don't know if I could be in this way. I almost feel like it's too much. Because it feels so incredible in a way that I never imagined. It's so overwhelming, all this love. That's what the overwhelming thing is. And I think maybe that's a, that's a, I'm feeling like the goodwill that, I don't know, I've been conscious of that my mother wanted me to do and being service to other people. And especially when it comes to Robert Rustin. I mean, this unsung hero, someone who's been hidden in the shadows of history, and I know that I gave everything I possibly could, all the years of regional theater, off-Broadway, crying on the side of the public theater, all of it went into his work. <laughs> what would you say people work in community? Say with us, stay dedicated to the work, and then if you're like me, 33 years later, the sun is shining on you. And on and success. I think it came out Hold on, we're going to say success. We're going to say it is hard not to root for him. Rustin is streaming now on Netflix. Our big thanks to the Ansbacher Theater Inside the Public, where so many well-known actors got their start, for hosting our conversation. Don't forget to subscribe to Sit Down Podcast to hear the full extended interview with Colton Domingo, including his embrace of a new teenage fan base since his role on Euphoria. You can find our conversation on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get yours. And next week, a favorite Sunday sit-down with one of the biggest stars in the world, Matt Damon, on his role in Oppenheimer, the epic movie that is cleaning up this award season, and much more with Matt. Matt Damon, next week on Sunday Today. Let's pause now for another quick check of your local Sunday weather.
Good Sunday morning. I'm from Team 4 Meteorologist. It's Ryan Miller. We've got sunshine right now, and we will see plenty of it later today. Another cold one, but with less wind, temperatures today, highs close to 32 degrees. Tomorrow we'll be near 40 with sunshine. Clouds arrive on Tuesday, and look for rain, just rain, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of this upcoming week, and milder weather coming in here. We're talking 60 on Thursday, and well into the 60s, I think, by Friday afternoon. Saturday's looking dry, Sunday weather. Ahead on Sunday today, our highs and lows of the week, including a tribute to the diehard fans of Bill's Mafia, letting neither rain nor sleet nor mountains of snow get between them and their team, with another huge game ahead tonight in Buffalo. But up next, our Sunday spotlight on the artists giving the visually impaired the chance to experience the world's most famous works. We're back in just 60 seconds. I'm the master of time.